You know what? If Rachel didn't leave me at the altar, can I say there would be no show? Is that too self-important sounding? No, I, I'm sure there'd still be a show. Uh, it, was, it was sort of great. I mean, the way, and, I mean, you look at the pilot, you look at the first few episodes, it was so, everything was so well-crafted. This many years later, people still stop me about, you know, Friends and Barry. I'm like, oh, you're the jerk on Friends. You're the jerk Barry. And I hear, you're the jerk Barry. I, was, I didn't think he was that bad of a guy. You went on our honeymoon alone? No. <laughs> Then I look back and yeah, he got ditched at the altar and maybe he had a wandering eye in a couple of episodes and couldn't decide which of the friends he liked better, you know, between Mindy and... Basically, we think you're a horrible human being and bad things should happen to you. I'm sorry. You know what, he maybe was a little bit of a jerk, uh, but let's just call him misunderstood and still looking for love in all the wrong places. That's, I think, a nice way of putting it for Barry. Originally, I was brought in uh, by the producers to be considered for Ross. And then they met with me, I read for them a couple times, then it was being considered for Ross and for Chandler. And then they finally sort of zoned in on Ross for me. And I got a phone call from someone early on from the show saying, congratulations, you're gonna play Ross. I was like, oh, that's great. And I love the script, I love the, you know, it's one of those scripts you read and go, okay, I wanna be a part of this somehow. So I was really excited. And at the last minute, we got a call, yeah, they're considering another guy for friends. I was like, okay, sure. And it ended up going, you know, another way. When David Schwimmer, who was fantastic in the role. So I never felt bad or weird about it. My friends were like, ooh, but I never thought it was a cringy thing. I thought it was kind of cool. So because of my consideration for the other parts, that's how, you know, Barry ended up coming, coming about. They said, well, how would you feel about playing Barry? I said, sure. I've been acting for a long time. And at that point, I'd still done a bunch of stuff. But it, there was a certain excitement on the set knowing what that first meeting was about and sort of how we got to that place. It was really kind of cool. It was kind of awkward, you know, having the young, the young man there giving me the, you know, horrible look. You know, I still remember him looking at us and saying, what, I'm not an idiot, you know. Are you sure? Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Robbie's gonna be here for hours. Huh? <laughs> the one that I look back at and that I sort of giggle at, again, because of the awkwardness of knowing how it was shot, was the scene when we were in the dentist chair together, post-bliss. I can say post bliss on television, can I? I'm not crazy, right? I mean, it was never like that. No, it wasn't. <laughs> we were just sort of cuddled up with the little paper blanket as our blanket. It was very awkward. And it makes me laugh just because there's there some great lines where the writing in that scene was really good. And again, awkward moments tend to make me laugh and give me joy. I have guys for years would ask me, dude, you kissed Jennifer Aniston. What was that like, dude? And I was like, well, imagine kissing someone you know, that you've known for a long time, uh, that you're just friends with, uh, in front of about 200 people, when it's about 120 degrees with a bunch of cameras on you, and I think you get in that door always ruins it. Oh man, I wanted to hear it was great. I was like, okay, it was great. <laughs> you don't know what to say in those times. So when I think back about that scene in particular, that's sort of a standout iconic moment for me on the show, just being in that spoon position in that dentist chair. Oh my. Still here. At our wedding, they were packing up the chopped liver about now. <laughs> oh, yeah, I love that story. You know, why do you have to bring up the whole Mindy thing? Not one of my finer Barry moments. <laughs> you want to know what I think of when I think of that, that, <laughs> that scene at the wedding? I think about that horrible gray tuxedo I had to wear. What was it like coming back for those last episodes? Well, if I remember correctly, and, and the one that might have been, that's, that's, it was a two-parter, right? Uh, I'm getting old. I have to say them out loud so I remember the exact episodes for me. Uh, didn't we find that I was in bed with another woman yet again? <laughs> My God, Barry! You, you, you said you were going to be away all weekend. Yeah, apparently, you know, you can't really take the boy out of Barry. That he's just a naughty man. It, it seems like no matter what, uh, what, no matter what timeline, no matter what alternate timeline or scenario we look at. I just can't get out of my own way, and apparently out of somebody else's bed. Bad me. Where do I think Barry would be now? I think uh, a better question is, who would Barry be with now? Um, I don't know. I'd like to think he still has his dental practice, just from a, cons a, consistent a, a consistency point of view. Um, I think he's probably whittling away in his life, no longer with Mindy, uh, and just sort of, trying to find the right person that fits his awkward, awkward style. 
Why is Friends so beloved 25 years later? I think there are shows that come along, um, and the word iconic sort of comes to mind. I think it, it's appropriate here. Uh, there are tremendously successful shows on television. Uh, you look at Big Bang now, and I can name stuff from my childhood that I grew up loving, MASH and Mary Tyler Moore. There are great shows that are iconic. And then there are shows that sort of, uh, they seem to capture the attention of a generation. And I think for Friends, there weren't that many shows when Friends came on that skewed younger and that a younger generation could say, hey, oh my God, that's us. When they watch the show, that's us sitting and having coffee. That's us in our apartment or looking for love or trying to find. So many people related to that show it really captured the imagination of a generation. And I think that's what made it and continues to make it so special.